Put your gloves on. Let's tie dye your thrift store find. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I don't have to do voiceover at this point in time because Big Daddy's gone, so TV ain't playing and he ain't on the business call. Yay! Let's look at this awesome thrift store find. This is Solitude. It's an extra large. Made in India. Oh look, look. It's already I've already hit it. <laughs> it's 100 percent cotton. But this here, these embellishments i don't know if they're polyester or cotton and i'm real curious to find out so it's like okay now what type of design do we do maybe a design that you haven't seen or do we do, oh it's on the bottom too see there see there it's an absolutely gorgeous shirt but i'm getting stuff all over because my hands are filthy from mixing colors um, what do I see? Sometimes I look at it and I'll see a design and then I try to recreate it. Alright, we're going to have smudges. But I think I'm going to go from an angle across to here. And then I'm going to have my colors. This will be my brightest color. And then we'll go out from here. Um, and do we do this liquid or hot water? The world may never know. So I'm going to draw me a guideline. Just to keep it kind of, kind of straight. That's all. And I'm going to run my fan fold along this guideline, but I'm going to put my rubber bands on either side of it because I want this to be pretty wide through here. And then we got to decide. Like, do we go from yellow out? This will be a good fall color shirt. Oh, I'm gonna have to make some colors. Let's play. What, what color is this? Cream? It's not white. It's cream? Yeah. That's what we're gonna call it. So I'm just going to replete with my, just kind of loosely. We're not trying to win the blue ribbon at the fair. We're trying to create some fun art. I'm not going to put these rubber bands on super tight either because I want that dye and hot water to get through the design. So there's my original and I'm going to put a rubber band on either side of it. So this is my middle, and then we're gonna, oh, yeah, oh, you're seeing it happen, live and in person, and then we're gonna scrunch this over here. So let me put these two on, y'all. Yeah. This is how it happens, kids. Sometimes it's a win, and sometimes it's a big old fail. You guys are gonna see that here pretty soon.
Okay. Equal number, one, two, yes. Okay, now we have an equal number here, and we're just gonna fan this back out and just scritch. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Okay, and you see how I'm like pushing these fans out? Kind of spreading them out a little bit. Because I want that to scrunch into there too. Okay. Yeah, it's simple. Let's go play with some powder. Okay. <laughs> I just got everything stacked up here. I found my spoon, by the way. I'm. So this is a neutral color, it's not white. And I'm going to go with golds and browns and pomegranates and um, make it warm and rich. Um, so I'm going to go with, I've got a mix, I've got some Dharma and then I've got some, this GK Craft Industries. Um, a friend of mine dyes silk scarves and she moved and so she didn't take, and I bought a bunch from her. So I have a stockpile of her stuff too. So from Dharma we're using golden yellow, pomegranate, which has an asterisk, uh, Garibaldi, I love this color, think like mustard, uh, bad, bad Leroy Brown, I love the name, this is discontinued, this is old, uh, and then uh, rust orange from GK Craft. So, I'm going to start here and go out. Uh, I'm going to start with a gold yellow. I'm using my spoon as opposed to my shaky because I just have this little area, right? That I just need to blop, blop, blop some stuff on as opposed to shaking over a bigger area. So we're going to spoon it on. And I'm starting here in the middle. You can barely see my guide marking that I made. And we're doing both sides. And Tish needs to put her mask on because she gets too excited sometimes and forgets. No hate. There's my gold yellow. And from there I want to go over into that uh, rust orange or the Garibaldi because I'm going into pomegranate so I'm going to do the Garibaldi and then go into rust and then take rust into the pomegranate and the Bad Bad Leroy Brown so we're going to do so oh, this color is beautiful and I believe this one is also discontinued or was it seasonal? So there's our. And then from there, I'm going to go into this rust orange from GK Craft. And I'm going to kind of overlap them a little bit. And then. And then we'll go from there to the pomegranate. I love this color. And we're going to blend it from there. I'm going to go over a little bit into there. And then we're just going to have a party with this. There. Same thing on this side. And then we're going to pick up some of the slack with this bad, bad Leroy Brown. Mm. 
It's a beautiful color. Beautiful, beautiful. Get one over here. Then I'm gonna bring some of that brown across. Mix it in. Blend, blend it, blend it. Okay. Give it a juice. Let's put the kettle on. Okay, so get the kettle and we are going to start to trickle. Hopefully you can see some of it. Oh, that rust orange, that rust orange. Stana, stana, look at that. Gonna go over into that golden. Do you see that? Do you see that? Pomegranate is one of my favorite for hot water and ice dye. Both. And then that bad, bad Leroy Brown. Look at that. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. It just isn't really any good way. And I'm sorry to do like a reveal. And where they mix, give me the pomegranate. And the Bad Bad Leroy Brown Mix. Party. Party. Okay. Oh wait, this was the, this is the, the Garibaldi. Not the rest orange, this is the rest orange. Hi! Hi! Sorry. Sorry to do that. I kinda. <gasps> Could you see this? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. The win. And I love that that the bad bad has a bit of a green that pops out and just like says hey. Beautiful. Oh, awesome uh, gustas. A little clumpy here. Got a little bit left in my kettle. A little clumpy. Okay, I'm gonna let this rest for just a second. Then we're gonna turn it over and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, we let this rest. I'm gonna turn it over. Oh, look how much we had come through. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not. I'm not. I really thought that because this was a narrow fan fold cooks for real what are you doing let's check oh no oh no we did good hello let's just turn right back over wait see this is what happens when we're just playing when I haven't tested a design uh, and I'm just like hey y'all want to play and I make make it up as I go. So now you're seeing what's happening. So let's play this game. I'm going to leave it. Just like it is. We'll make this short again with something else. You tell me in the comments. Would you have done the other side? Or would you have done a smattering of the Bad Bad Leroy Brown to speckle cooks? For goodness sakes. Would you done a speckle? on both sides to add some depth with that bad bad Leroy Brown. You tell me that in the com in the comments. Because I'm leaving this baby just like it is. And we're gonna wash it out in just a little bit. Yeah. Come play with me. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> because I am 
So what do you think? Oh my God, I love this. I love this. <gasps> Look. I just, I have no, I mean, I have words. Y'all know me, I got words, but I got quiet for a minute looking at this. And here's the thing. It doesn't matter like how in depth your your pattern is, your design, your pinch, your fold. Cause sometimes it's about the color. Super easy fan fold, right? At a diagonal. But then the color. Oh. Look, look friends, oh my God. Camera folk, look at this. Look how, look at this hit and miss with that bad boy Leroy Brown. Gorgeous. And this, this pomegranate is one of my favorites for this, for this. It was built for hot water or ice dye built. And then we had this breakout here, this rust orange. And then we went over into the Garibaldi. So you could see, like in liquid, it's gonna be this. Maybe a little lighter. Cause it's kind of like mustardy. Goldfinch maybe. And then here's that, that gold yellow. That's not screaming. You know what I mean? It's a softer yellow. And then we're going back into our design again. What a gorgeous transition. Look at this. Look, oh my God. Costas, look! Is this Stana or what? Let's look at the back. Hang on. Okay, and here's the back. And there was no messing up. There was no reason to repeat the process on the back. Because we've got this negative space on this side, right here, right? And it throws a beautiful pattern that we wouldn't have had if we would have put powder on the back and did another dose of hot water, it would have transitioned like this. But here we've got this negative space and that pattern. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. I love this. What size is this? Hmm. No, I have to put it in inventory. I can't keep all of them. I can't. Can I? <laughs> hey, if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. I'll make sure that I put it in a playlist so it's easier for you to find. You guys know the spiel. Look what we did today. <laughs> you guys, I love this shirt so much. It's beautiful. And it's okay to love your art. It's ex it's okay to be excited about what you create. Be proud of it. It's your art. It was your journey. And this destination makes me ridiculously happy. And remember, be peaceful, be kind. It's important. Try something new today. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. I sure did. <laughs> Talk to you soon. <laughs> okay. That's that's that'll work. I pinned it. Take gun battery. Come on. Oh, that's battle. Figure it out. Again? Good.